Hello lovelies, welcome once again to Fixing Gobo TV. The recipe today is everyone's favorite oxtail sauce. We start off by marinating our oxtails for 24 hours, but if you don't have much time, you can marinate for an hour or two. Add one tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of mixed spices, teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix very well. Cover nicely and refrigerate overnight. So we are going to start off by pouring in any oil of our choice into our saucepan and then we are going to heat it until it's very hot then we drop in our oxtails and fry on every side to make sure it is completely brown. Prior to making the sauce I had marinated my oxtails for about 24 hours so please check the description for how I did my marination. I stir occasionally to prevent the meat from stacking at the bottom of the pot. I add in one teaspoon of concentrated tomato paste. After frying my oxtail for some time, and now they look brown not so brown but I like it this way but you can proceed by frying it to even become more darker in color I add ginger and garlic and I stir it very well then I add some chopped onions again I stir it for some time I keep stirring to make sure that I don't burn my meat been frying our tomato paste for about three minutes and the next step we are going to add in some chopped tomatoes I use half a tin of chopped tomatoes if you don't want half you can use three to four medium sized tomatoes and chop them into the sauce and it will just work fine thank you so much for subscribing to my channel please if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more awesome videos which i have installed for you so the next step we add our ground chili pepper i i add half a teaspoon of ground chili pepper you can reduce it or you can increase it then i add some chopped green bell pepper afterwards i'll pour some liquid into the bowl in which i did the marination in and then pour the water or the liquid into my sauce and just allow it to fry for some time actually going to cook this sauce for three hours yes three hours and we are going to stir it from time to time I back when was that free when you say in here did you in team patrol near did you are in chance to cry so after I've been frying the sauce for about an hour, I add in some herbs. I add in a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of basil, and a teaspoon of thyme. Then I add some boiling water. I add boiling water because the sauce has already been cooking for some time and I wouldn't like to slow the process. So I just add boiling water to keep the process running. And then I'll stir and keep it on the fire because as i told you already we have to cook it for about three hours to make the meat fall off your bones our sauce has been frying for about two hours and it's time for me to add some chopped veggies i use carrot green bell pepper and onion you can also add some chopped celery it's up to you just customize the sauce to the way you want i then add a teaspoon of curry powder I stir it very well to make sure everything is well incorporated. Then I leave it on fire for the next one hour. I've been frying the sauce for a little over three hours and now I turn off the heat because the sauce is ready. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye and please check out for the next video.